What was that moment for you then that you decided to fuck this enough's enough? I'm getting no love. People are using me. No, it was, it was, it was, I, was, I was in the hospital. No one come to see me. No one come to see me. And I thought, what are these fucking scumbags, man? How can they not even come? And I, when I'm ringing people, they're uh, uh, or not answering the phone and making excuses. Like, it's 70 pound a flight, return. Like, how can you not come and see me? Mm -hmm. I'm thinking, wow, the things... Like, what I've done for these fucking people... What I've done for these people, like I fucking got stabbed up for you, I got fucking cut for you, I went to prison for you. Do you know what I mean? I had ag for two years for you. Like what the fuck? Like and it was never ending, never ending. The amount of debt I've got in for people, like everyone knows the drug game, right? So if I got someone bail for a bit of gear and they go out of spending all the money, they do the bollocks, right? In a couple of months time, they owe 40, 50 grand. I've actually gone and fucking stole that to pay people's debts, and they couldn't come and fucking see me in hospital. Do you know what I mean? And I started thinking, what the fuck? And that's why I just thought, you know what, fuck England. I'm not, I'm not doing it no more. So then I made real, real relationships with people that actually opened my eyes. You know, they opened my eyes to reality of life. And I know one of my pals gets a lot of stick in the, in the Irish media at the moment, you know, but if it weren't for these people... Like, I don't say it, Daniel Kinahan, right? Now, he gets a lot of bad press, but I couldn't be here today if it wasn't for Daniel. Like, and I couldn't be here to give you this interview. I couldn't be legitimate because these people, the principles and the morals they have, actually woke me up to reality. Do you understand? Like, and it's, it's something I wouldn't wish on my worst enemy, the life I'd led. Do you understand? Like, because I've done it as an opportunity to change things and get out of something. I haven't done it because I, I wanted to. I've done it because I had to. I, I never felt I had many choices or many options growing up as a kid, right? So that's what I felt I had to do. And I fell victim to the normalization of the insanity. Like many of thousands, if not millions of people do it. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's, it's fucking nuts to live that life. Like every day, day in, day out. 